to Slips and Stones. In today's segment, I'm back with a beautiful DIY. I've been meaning to redecorate my room and make it more me. And while it's really fun buying things and spending all of your money, it's also a lot of fun getting things that you can make by hand at home and have more of a personal connection to them. I have made my own creation. I saw these like geo DIY crystals sort of circulating around Pinterest. And since I love candles and I love crystals, I thought I would kind of mash the two together and I created this beautiful crystal candle holder. I'm actually pretty stoked on the segment because it's in collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube, Anna from There She Goes. She has really incredible thrifting, fashion, and DIY videos on her channel. And in her video, she's going to have a DIY crystal dream catcher. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave all links to her stuff down below. And yeah, let's just get right into it. First and foremost, the most important ingredient in this DIY is borax powder, which is a detergent enhancer that grows crystals. For the rest of the materials, you will need a glass container. The bigger the container, the bigger you can make your crystal. Pipe cleaners to form your crystals. Your choice of food coloring, which is optional depending on whether or not you want your crystals to be colored or white metal wire, scissors to cut your wire, and lastly some tea candles or any candle that you want to hold within your crystals. You start off with one pipe cleaner and then from there you begin to coil it around your fingers like so in order to start creating the shape of your candle holder. Then from there you can continue to add more pipe cleaners to create a shell shape. There really is no rhyme or reason to the shape, you just want to make sure to avoid leaving holes in the base. To create the base, just secure your last pipe cleaner onto the center of your shell and spiral it so that it creates a circle shape to place your candle on top. Remember to check to see if the candle fits and you're all done with your shape. Next shape I'm going to make is a peaceful lotus flower. Start off by bending the end into a circular form and then securing it into the rest of the pipe cleaner. Then from there you want to spiral the pipe cleaner around itself to again create a circular base roughly big enough for the bottom of your candle. You can also intertwine another pipe cleaner if the base is still not big enough for the candle. And once it fits you can use the rest of your pipe cleaner to create your first lotus flower petal. When you run out of the pipe cleaner from the petals, you can intertwine the excess back to front to back on your base to create a stronger bond. To create more petals, just take another pipe cleaner and secure it onto your base again and again. And of course, to really create that lotus flower form you desire, you must make a second row of petals behind. Make sure that the petals go right in between the smaller petals and are bigger to really create that look. When you're all done adding your petals, the next important step to making them come to life is pinching the ends one by one to make them pointy like that of an actual lotus flower. Then take another candle and carefully curl the petals toward it. And hey, if you feel like it's not big enough, feel free to add another row of petals. On to the magical crystal solution, you just pour boiling water into your jar or containers and then saturate the water with borax powder until it's foggy and no more crystals dissolve at all. This might take some time, but it needs to be really saturated in order to create the best crystals. If you decide you do want to add color onto your candle holders, this is the time to add food coloring, so quickly do it. I personally poured in 10 drops of red and 10 of blue to make it purple, but I would add more because the color, for some reason, came out somewhat dull in the situation. After it's all mixed up, you just take your wire and pull it through the center of your pipe cleaner shape or however you feel it would be more balanced. Then you place the pipe cleaner into the solution, making sure it doesn't touch the sides or the bottom of the glass. Now you just secure the wire onto the opening and you close the lid. This is where the magic happens, so leave it alone overnight or for about 8-10 to 10 hours and your crystals will form. Once they're all done, make sure to soak them for a few minutes on a towel and once they're dry, clip away the wire as close to the crystal as possible and then you're all done. These crystal candle holders are absolutely amazing room decor so whether or not these are for you or for friends, these will make perfect personalized gifts. Also, if you guys make these at home, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter under Slips and Stones because I'd love to see them. For alerts to my next video, make sure to hit the bell on my channel and subscribe for more fashion, thrifting, and DIYs. Hope you all have an amazing holiday and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!